Hello and welcome here. Superman and Lois's new Clark Kent power surpasses everything that Henry Cavill's Superman could accomplish in the DC Extended Universe. Waiting for Superman, episode 15 of Superman and Lois season 2, brought Clark's fight with Ali Alston to a grand finale. Clark experienced what was likely one of his most unforgettable experiences in the Arrowverse during the decisive battle. Superman's supremacy as the strongest power on Earth has already been established by the Arrowverse series long before the decisive encounter with Ali Alston. In Season 1, not even other Kryptonians could compare to him. Clark has prevailed over Steel, Tall Row, and Bizarro throughout the course of the series after putting up a fight. The strength he possessed, however, was insufficient to defeat Ali Alston once she fused with her Bizarro counterpart. So, when Clark regained his powers, it required all of his might and then some for him to prevail. Clark successfully carried out a risky strategy to defeat the antagonist in the Superman and Lois season 2 finale. Superman was easily able to overcome and vanquish the show's version of Parasite thanks to a power-up from the sun. All of Superman's achievements in the DCEU pale in comparison to what he just done with Clark. Both are the strongest heroes in their own universes, but the Arrowverse has elevated Tyler Hoechlin's portrayal of the Big Blue Boy Scout to a level that Henry Cavill's Superman was unable to reach. Since the sun is Clark's source of all his abilities, doing so essentially gave the character a boost. His appearance underwent a notable alteration as a result of the enhancement, with the Superman insignia and his eyes taking on a vivid yellow glow. The fact that solar energy was coming from his body further demonstrated how powerful Superman had grown and offered a beautiful image to go with his potent new metamorphosis. By doing this, Superman and Lois were able to successfully harness the nature of Superman's abilities in live action. While it's true that the DCEU did make good use of Superman's superpowers, it never went quite that far with the sun and how it fuels him. One of the Man of Steel's few appearances in the DCEU that stood out was when he brutally defeated Steppenwolf in Zack Snyder's Justice League, demonstrating exactly how lethal his super speed can be. Similar to how Superman and Lois' numerous combat scenes allowed Clark to show off his full heroic capabilities. However, the series has now decided to surpass that while also surpassing the DCEU's Superman. Superman and Lois succeeded to defeat an entity referred to as a god by using an infinite quantity of sun energy. Later, Clark was denied the upgrade, but eventually it was for the best. Superman is already almost indestructible, continuing with the improvement would have given him enormous strength. However, whether it was brief or not, the events of the episode were sufficient to give Hoechlin's Man of Steel what could very well be his most memorable Superman moment to date. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.